Today I'm here on the street in Warsaw because I wanted to talk about one function of the Lumix cameras, the S5 II and S5 IIx and S5 original S5 as well, but as well as uh, Olympus cameras. I know the Olympus cameras got the same function built in as Lumix cameras. It's something called live view composite. Something a lot of people don't understand or don't use and something I wasn't using until recently. It's very loud here and I'm on the street. But bear with me. Live view composite, it's a long exposure photography, but you can see what you do on the screen of the camera. You don't have to guess. So normally you'll go on the street like this to capture movement of the cars, for example, and you press the button. Instead of the camera to 20 seconds, for example, you press the button, you wait for 20 seconds, and after 20 seconds, you have to see what the picture looks like, and you didn't have enough cars, or, or had exposure wrong, or something like this, and you have to do it multiple times to get the effect right. With live view composite in Lumix cameras, you set this up, I'll show you how in a second, and you can see live, how the effect happens. It, compo it combines the pictures together into one final photo, but you can see what's happening, so you don't have to waste time by taking 100 pictures to have one, okay, or no. You can actually create that image, the movement picture, the light moving picture, right in the camera and quite simply. You need a camera on a tripod or any kind of tripod or a wall or a or a whatever you need to put the camera on to stabilize it. It can't be moving. If you're moving, if it's moving, the effect won't work. Firstly, you go to your menu, you go to camera menu and right on the bottom of the menu on S5 II and S5 IIx, you go to live view composite and you got two options, start, to start the effect or the procedure, or should it delay. Should it delay, I keep it on off, but if you press one second, two seconds, four seconds, eight seconds. It basically delays the time between every picture. Firstly, it prolongs the time. So if something happening slowly, uh, you, you prolong the procedure. So it takes a picture every one second or every two seconds. There's a gap between every time uh, the picture is being taken. Simple, really. I keep it on off in this, in this case and go to start. When I press start, the camera tells you to set the shutter speed and ISO and press the, press the shutter, shutter button. What happens then, the camera records the black frame and that's only to record the noise level. So the camera can reduce the noise in your multiple exposures. You press the shutter button that creates the black frame, and then you press the shutter button again, and that starts creating your composite. In this case, I've got a camera set to two seconds. So it takes a two second picture every time. And what happens, it records only the changes in light. So the sky in this case is a sunset, but only records the cars passing the camera, not the, the sky. So even though you can combine 100 pictures together or more if you wanted to, it only records the changes of light on the picture, not anything else around it. So you can compose the picture on the screen as it's happening. It's a very flexible tool to create something different and something uh, creative, I guess. I use this little, little uh, light. I, don't, I think it's a small rig, actually, this one. I use this little small LED light to paint with it. So in this case, uh, when I'm painting, or well, the cars are painting the, the red lines when they're passing, I didn't think there was enough of those. So I simply just use this little light to fill in some gaps and to create more of that streaky red light effect. Yeah, like, like this. And this is how you paint with light. Such a simple and such a cool feature or tool you have in your Lumix camera. There's literally no limitation to what you can do with this technique using simple little lights, just one light to create all kind of lighting scenes or just simply lighting the product in an environment which is not really suitable for product photography and creating really cool look. Like this T-Rex and this simple the same a small rig little light. I can actually light the T-Rex the just step by step, just by putting enough light in there. You can add the light gradually to the effect you want. And you can see on the screen exactly where you're adding that light. And you can add some crazy stuff as well. What I really like about this effect is that it doesn't matter how many pictures you take. You can run it for 20 minutes, you can run it for one minute or, or a full hour if you want to. And you, every time something changes in light, it records it onto that one final photo. And to stop the process, you simply press the shutter button and, uh, and the camera records that all those images into one final image. It's something I wasn't even aware 
Lumix cameras could do and something I'm sure that all of you would, would find very useful or helpful to create something different, something, yeah, something more creative and something more challenging, uh, easy. So this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful or informative. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.